Hi, it's day three at NAMM. It's Ronick from Ask Audio Mag, and we're here with Gannon from Universal Audio, who's going to take us through the new UA Expanded Suite. All right, well, good morning. We're so glad to be here. NAM 2015 really is a remarkable day for us because we're introducing the, probably the most significant release for uh, the Apollo platform since it was introduced two years ago. We're calling it Apollo Expanded. And really, it stands on three legs. There's a hardware leg where we're expanding your I.O., software leg where we're expanding your sounds, and then expanding your control with the new console 2.0. So let's dive in. Expanded I.O. means you can now cascade up to four, any, uh, uh, four Apollo Apollos of any type. So you can mix and match Apollos. You can have Apollo 16s existing with Apollo 8s and Apollo Twins all in the same system. Up to four Apollos can be uh, connected together via a single Thunderbolt cable through each one. So that's really remarkable. We're carrying the audio, we're carrying the DSP, and we're carrying the, the a star clock, distributed clock through all the units with a single. Um, and that's all through Thunderbolt? All through Thunderbolt, yeah. So now you really, uh, as your needs grow for more DSP or more I.O., you can grow them as your, as your studio grows. Um, also, within a, a single system, you can have up to six devices. So any four Apollos, but up to six UAD2 devices. So in addition to those four Apollos, you could add a couple of uh, satellite Thunderbolts, for example, or some UAD2 cards if you have an expansion chassis. So that's uh, expanding your um, I.O. is the first part of it. The second part is expanding your sound. So we've really, uh, we're really excited about some of the new plugins we're introducing here. Many of them are geared toward live performance uh, and music creation. I mean, they're always uh, available to be used on any UAD product, but uh, these are, are particularly useful in music creation and live production. So let me just show you a couple of these here. I'm going to reach in front of you. Um, one of the ones we're really excited about is the Woodworks plugin by Sound Machine. It just, it just looks so beautiful. And what it does is also beautiful. Uh, it, this is designed to take the piezo pickup output from an acoustic guitar and re-mic it into a beautifully sounding uh, mic studio guitar. So, you know, if you're in a noisy environment or if you're uh, trying to record vocals with an acoustic guitar player, singer-songwriter kind of a thing, you just take the piezo output, plug it into this, and you it's organized by body types and um, uh, microphone types. So you can... Uh, choose a preset that you know happens to sound close with your guitar then you can adjust the neck and body microphones and fix the panning and create a preset that really works great for your guitar there's an incredibly wide range of sounds that come out of those piezo pickups whether you have an active system or a passive system they all sound really different so uh, this gives you 16 starting points and then you from there you can modify those and uh, change it to fit your guitar so that's that's really a it's going to be a, a very important plugin for a lot of players I can tell. Um, so are these plugins available now at the moment? No, this is uh, Apollo Expanded is coming out with version 8 software, which will be released in March. So everything that I'm talking about is going to come out in March. And uh, just out of interest, do we have uh, an estimated retail price for this and uh, upgrade price as well? Yeah, uh, the software itself, the console 2.0, mixed multi-unit and all that is free to all Apollo users. So it's a Mac Thunderbolt uh, platform update. That's free. Uh, Woodworks is 299 and uh, then we're going to talk about some of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. All right. So uh, let me just close that. The next bundle that we have, we're really excited to do some new uh, distortion pedals. So this is the uh, there's a collection that we're introducing called the UA Distortion Essentials, starting with the Ibanez Tube Screamer, and then the Raw Distortion, which is a model of the Proco Rat, and then we're calling the Bermuda Triangle, which is a model of the Big Muff Pie. So these are three essential stomp boxes, which we call them the UAD distortions. Uh, what's unique about them is they're unison enabled. So when you plug into uh, an Apollo Twin, for example, um, it actually modifies the impedance of the high z input to load your pickups the way that the stomp box would. So it gives you the perfect tone of, uh, of each of these stomp boxes. So we're really excited about that as well. Those are available as a collection for $249, or you can buy them individually for uh, $199 for uh, the Tube Screamer and $99 for the Raw or Bermuda a triangle. So, very cool. Uh, keep going here. The next collection that we're introducing with this software is the Friedman Amp Collection by Brainworks. So these are two uh, boutique high-gain amps um, by Brainworks again, and um, 
these are probably the best sounding high gain amplifiers in the world right now. And Grainworks has done an amazing job at doing their modeling. They uh, give you a tremendous number of cabinet and microphone options so that you can go in and, and really customize the sound that you want. They've done a tremendous amount of work on the front end as well, so you can work with the input gain prior to the, the first gain stage. So that gives you the ability to reduce the gain hitting the amplifier if you want a clean tone or overdrive it if you want a super saturated tone. So everything from just clean, fat, to super shreddy are, are available in these two amps and we're excited about those. This is a bundle as well and it comes with the BX tuner so you could actually play in tune should you choose to. Wow, no, that's, that's <laughs> unusual. I know, uh, revolutionary. Uh, okay. And then last but not least, uh, close this up, we're introducing for the first time in an audio interface, Antares Autotune Live. Uh, yeah, I imagine this is going to be pretty interestingly popular for a lot of people. I think so. And, you know, this is the original uh, sound, the original algorithm of Autotune running on the Apollo in a live environment. So you can use it to, to tune live vocals on stage or in the studio. You can also go back and rework vocals uh, in you know, a standard remix kind of a configuration. We've introduced MIDI uh, input to the device, so you can actually do the uh, keyboard tuning as you're going, or you can it'll respond to scales uh, in the way the original unit did too. So it's just really cool that you can have this for uh, a live operation. I've used it a few times and it's like, it's so fast, it, uh, you really can't hear the, any delay between the, your live sound and your uh, fixed sound, other than it's fixed. <laughs> well, that's one of the benefits of the uh, UADSB, right? That's right, right. Uh, we always produce a 1.1 millisecond latency at 96K, regardless of your DAW, regardless of your buffer size. All the DSP in the interface handles those real-time operations, so it's very cool. Okay, so, um, uh, what's the pricing for this? Uh, 249 I believe, for Antares Autotune Live. So that's, a, that's the plug-in sort. We've talked about expanded I.O., expanded sound, now expanding our control. The kind of the glue that holds this entire environment together is a brand new console 2.0. So this is the new console environment. We're kind of looking at it here. I'm gonna just reach in front of you again. Um, what it is, it, it's a brand new 64-bit app that's Retina graphics compatible, and it's comprised of a number of, uh, number of things. First of all, the, the windows are dynamically resizable. And what that means is, uh, as I make them smaller, th things disappear. You can see that this uh, changes into a different configuration. As I continue to drag up, the plugins will change from icons into a list. And as I go even farther, the fader scale changes and gets, uh, you still have faders, but the scale actually changes. This is also um, allows you to open up multiple windows. So if I choose open up a new console window, you're presented with a brand new window, and you can size it down and close off everything that you want except for that particular channel. So I don't have to look at everything. If I want to work just with my monitor section over Pro Tools, for example, I can just look at that. So, That's great. That's yeah, it's, it's a really powerful uh, visual management tool in addition to the extra control that it gives you. So as we expand out, there's a number of uh, features that have been added to the capabilities here. If we go into settings, I can show you the hardware tab, first of all. This, this is where you manage your multiple units. So here's an Apollo 16. There's two 16s and a twin together in this system. You can manage the number of headphone buses that you want. So if you want up to four headphone cues, they're sitting right there, and you can change them on the fly. You can see I've got my two auxes here and four sends. I can change that to go to four, two auxes and two cues now. So it's just, it's, um, it gives you all that flexibility and what you can do with your cues after you set up the number is determine what the source is going to be for each one and where the output will appear. And uh, for example on Apollos, the, the original Apollos that have two fixed headphone outputs, those are individually addressable. So you could set up four cues and use the four built-in headphones to basically give yourself a built-in headphone mixing matrix. So very cool. Uh, we've also added alt speakers, so again we go to settings and you can have up to two pairs of alternate speakers. And in the monitor section, oops, I said in the monitor section, uh, you have a built-in trim control for each one, so you can tune up the levels between them so when you switch there's no level jump. We've built in a dim control and uh, of course you've got monitor, uh, mono and all the other controls for your monitor section there. 
One of the most uh, revolutionary things we've done is with our, uh, the way we address core audio. As you start to aggregate I.O., sorry, I didn't mean to put a shadow in front of us, but as you uh, aggregate I.O., it's really easy to have a huge number of I.O. streams that are available. So the, uh, we've introduced a thing called FlexDriver. That looks at across all of the physical and virtual I.O. in the system, presents it in a list, and lets you choose the number the quantity of, of uh, I.O. that you want to use and publish to Core Audio, and you can name it and you can save presets. So, for example, if you wanted to just put all your microphone preamps together in one preset for a tracking an input tracking preset, you can save that. Or if you're doing hardware inserts for Mixdown, you can collect all those and create uh, synchronous inputs and outputs. So those are uh, uh, those are just a couple of things that you would do with that. It's a revolutionary way of, of handling, you know, this system right here has 128 outputs. If you're working with Pro Tools, you can only use 32 of those. So which 32 will it be? Uh, so that's a really great piece of work. And that sits underneath the console, so you can, uh, you can save your presets and uh, take them with the hardware. So the console sits on top of that. Lots of other t uh, usability features here too. Uh, we've introduced a new thing called a channel strip preset. So as you go here and click on this, these are channel presets. So if I just do a weird stack of something, I don't know what this is from somebody else's demo, but up it comes. You can see three plugins become instantiated all at once. And then when you open up a plugin in a channel strip window, you can see all the controls all at once. So it lets you, you know, create the signal chain that you want, dial in the, the settings, and then save it as a preset. Simple, uh, simple way to get a sound. Really could you, nice. um, you know, could you swap these around, move them around at all? Uh, yeah, you do that in here, in the preset window itself, but now we have done drag and yeah, drop. Yeah, that's a lot easier to do it there. Actually. Yeah, drag and drop, that was one of the big feature requests we had. So you can uh, drag simple, you can uh, do an option copy. So just that sort of ease of management has really been cool. Here's another cool thing. Good morning thing. and welcome to the 2015 Good morning. AM show. <laughs> the show is now open. Thank you for joining us. Wow, okay. Uh, so uh, we now have uh, preset auditioning as well. And this is uh, live preset auditioning, so it allows you to play your audio and simply scroll through the presets. You can see the controls changing. So as you're listening to your track, you're playing your preset and you can hear the changes in real time. So that's a very cool thing. So there's not much lag or anything between no, the presets? No, just takes a second to update. In the past, you had to recall a preset, stop the transport, recall a preset, you know, and do that. So it wasn't as musical as it is. We have lots of views here as well. Uh, if I go to inserts view, you'll notice um, right here, I'm gonna bring this up so you can see it a little bit better. Underneath the insert strips, each of, the, each of the console strips has its own insert record enable button. So you can individually choose which tracks record processes and which tracks monitor them only. So if you wanted to print all your drums with effects, for example, and save your guitars and vocals and print them dry, you can do that on a per channel basis. So that's really cool. Uh, in our sends view now, we have a, a really large way of managing your sends. So you can look at uh, all of your auxes individually and you can actually turn off the main channel strips here and use the whole, uh, oops, use the entire uh, fader throw just for your auxes. And you know, just some other convenience things here. If I bring this up and I create a little mix for the, the uh, monitors, I can copy that with one button up to what I'm sending to my aux. So creating a headphone mix is, happens with one button now. Uh, there's a tremendous number of features that we've added that just makes things easier, like multiple levels of undo, for example, including presets and in, uh, change, control changes to the, uh, yeah. So that's the expand your control part of the release of Apollo Expanded. Uh, all of this is going to come out in March, and it's version 8 software for UAD. Of course, it's free uh, to any, uh, any Mac Apollo Thunderbolt user. And yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really, really great. I mean, we're pretty excited about this, and uh, we'll get a review going as soon as we get our hands on it. Okay, cool. Cool. Right Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.